hi everyone uh, my name is natras in this video i want to talk about how to register jdbc driver with a driver manager service in order to use jdbc driver in our java application first of all it should be registered with what driver manager service driver manager service is what built in service of every java application which can manage set of jdbc drivers to register jdbc driver with driver manager service we should create jdbc driver class object and you should keep that object with what driver manager service what is this jdbc driver class you know that every jdbc driver is identified with its what driver class name so for that we have to create object and you have to keep that object with what driver manager service then only our application can start working with what any jdbc driver for this purpose we need to write following two lines of code in our java application that is create jdbc driver class object i'm just talking about type one driver which is a built in driver of jdk so what is the driver class name of type one jdbc driver sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver so let me create what object for jdbc odbc driver obj1 is equal to new sun dot jdbc odbc jdbc odbc to register this uh, driver with driver manager service yeah we have to call driver manager dot register driver method so register jdbc driver what's the statement i should write driver manager dot register driver of obj1 so like this we can register jdbc driver with driver manager service let's see first i created driver class object then i kept that object with what driver manager service by calling what driver manager dot register driver method but the problem is whenever we see any jdbc application we never find this kind of code to register driver with driver manager service we never find this kind of code in any jdbc application to register driver with driver manager service we simply see class dot for name sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver this kind of statement and we all know that class dot for name makes jvm to load given class into application so similarly this class dot for name also makes jvm to load what jdbc driver class but just now i said to resist to use jdbc driver in our application you have to register driver with a driver manager service for that purpose we have to create driver class object and you have to keep that object with what driver manager service but when it comes to this class dot for name it just loads the driver class it never creates a driver class object and when it and it never what keeps that object with the driver manager service then how can we say this class dot for name statement is what registering driver with driver manager service actually some internal process is taking place whenever a driver class is loaded because of that internal process driver is registering with what driver manager service i want to talk about that internal process let's see that internal process 
let me talk about how this particular statement is actually registering jdbc driver with what driver manager service the process goes something like this class dot for name method makes jvm to load given driver class in this process the static block of what driver class executes automatically you know that whenever static block is whenever class is loaded static block of class executes automatically or not yeah in that static block of driver class logic is available to create a driver class object and to register that object with what driver manager service that means because of the code that is there in what static block jdbc driver is registered with what driver manager service i want to prove that one practically so right now i have type 1 driver set up in my system you know that type 1 driver is what built in driver of jdk let me show let me show the driver class source code of what type 1 driver and let me show its static block to feel that static block is having logic to register driver with what driver manager service so here is my c drive program files program files java jdk 1.7 jre lib folder here is my rt dot what jar file rt dot jar file contains type 1 jdbc driver related entire uh, classes entire information of type 1 driver is available in what rt dot jar file rt indicates runtime dot jar i am opening with uh, winjipar winrar not a issue let's see sun is there jdbc odbc what's our driver class jdbc odbc what driver jdbc odbc driver so in my system decompiler is already installed that decompiler name is what dj java decompiler so even though they are giving dot class file nothing to worry by using decompiler support we can get the source code right let me show this driver class is having static block look at this there is a static block or not yes look at this static block there is a line creating object for what current driver class what is that jdbc odbc driver some reference name is equal to new jdbc odbc driver that means here driver class object is created or not and observe this code driver manager dot registered driver that reference name this indicates what the driver class object is kept in what driver manager service or not so what happens class dot for name actually loads the driver class in this process static block of driver class executes because of the code that is there in what static block the driver class object will be created and that object will be registered with what driver manager service that means here credit should not be given to class dot for name credit should be given to what static block of what driver class actually that static block is having logic to register driver with what driver manager service class dot for name method just making jvm to load our what jdbc driver class the good news to share with you people is not only driver class of type 1 driver is having this kind of static block almost all jdbc drivers related driver classes are having what this kind of static block right so in that static block definitely logics are there to register driver with what driver manager service so conclusion is 
whenever you see class dot for name statement in jdbc statement uh, jdbc application don't say we are loading driver class loading driver class is just one part we are loading the driver class to register with what driver manager service but that registration is taking place because of what the static block that is there in what driver class so that's why now onwards when you see class dot for name statement in any jdbc application don't say you are loading driver class you have to say i am loading this driver class to register with what driver manager service with the support of what the static block that is there in what driver class okay this indicates what class dot for name is not registering driver with the driver manager service class dot for name is just loading the driver class in this process static block of driver class is executed in that static block logic is there what to register driver with the driver manager service this is about how class dot for name used in what jdbc application is registering driver with what driver manager service that's it thank you you can catch me for more videos on this particular channel thank you